Hello friends, welcome back to Industry Learning. And uh, today in this session, basically, I am going to discuss about stainless steel sheet metals. So we are going to discuss about uh, sheet metal grades, its properties, and applications. So if we talk about application, then the most important term that is material selection. And uh, definitely for that, there are some factors that include the material selection. So that is formability, weldability, corrosion resistance, strength, weight, and cost. But other than that. all these uh, factors also includes the material grade because this terms uh, and this factors uh, differs by grade to grade right since stainless steel is aesthetically pleasing and corrosion resistant it is widely used in most of the industrial and home product like cookware kitchen sink and vehicle parts so the term stainless steel refers to iron based alloys that includes the element chromium at least 10.5% of their composition so basically if i talk about the stainless steel that comes in more than 100 of grades but here we are limited to talk about most of the grades that are being used by the industry so let's talk about the grading system so basically this grading system has been defined by SAE Society of Automotive Engineers that is a three digit system and the next one that is ASTM that is American Society for Testing Materials that is a six digit system so now we are going to see about these both two how uh, on what basis they have defined this grade so let's talk about the SAE so SAE uh, developed a four digit grading system for carbon steel and three digit for stainless steel and uh, the first digit Uh, of this grading system refers to primary alloy element and the second and third digit refers to the alloy carbon percentage and as per ASTM uh, as he has developed a six digit system for categorizing stainless steel so composed of both letters and numbers this classification system begins with the letter A which stands for any ferrous metal followed by a sequential series of numbers unrelated to the metal's property so the letter M stands for metric follows with the number series in this ASTM series since each grade of stainless steel has a slightly different chemical composition and consequently a distinct physical appearance so based upon this we are going to further categorize this series into uh, 300 series 400 series and 900 series so basically a 300 series that is also known as austenitic series the 400 series that is also known as Martin Sighting series and the 900 series that is non-stabilized austenitic series. So uh, let's discuss about these three uh, grades and their further subgrades in details. So what is this 300 stainless steel series? Basically, stainless steel uh, grades in 300 series are classified as austenitic with 18 to 30 percent of chromium and 6 to 20 percent of nickel as their major alloying additions. other than that also a lot of composition is there but these are as a major alloying elements so it is a solid iron containing face centered cubic crystals the composition of 300 series stainless steel grades make it especially useful in construction automotive and aerospace industries so since it can withstand extremely high temperature series 300 stainless steel is hard and able only by cold working methods So this is about 300 stainless steel series. So now let's further categorize this uh, 300 uh, stainless steel series into sub categories. So that is 301. So basically, this is SS301 or SAE301. SS301 means stainless steel series. 301 SAE that is the nomenclature has been given as Society of uh, Automotive Engineers. So whether you can say SS301 that is okay, the SA301 that is same. To show the property of this SS301 that it is attractive and malleable. Grade 301 features high strength and corrosion resistant composition. Since it is highly malleable and abrasion resistant, Grade 301 stainless steel often get used for decorative structural applications. So let's talk about the next one and that is SS304. So basically, SS304 grades represents 50% of steel produced around the world. So, and uh, the, if I talk about the composition, then grade 304 contains 18% of chromium and 8% of nickel, which makes it aesthetically pleasing as well as durable. Its uh, one weakness is that it is saline. So, grade 304 pits or creep when 
it is getting used near salt water so we have to avoid this with uh, if you are making a product that can be used near salt water and all next one that is a 316 grade so the second most commonly produced steel grades that is 316 contains 3% of molybdenum so consequently it's more resistant to saline and thus better for coastal environments many surgical supplies also get made from this ss 316 stainless steel grades so now let's talk about the next one that is ss 317 so this grade uh, provides high tensile strength at elevated temperature it is more resistant to corrosion and pitting than either grade 304 or 316 stainless steel as well as due to its composition grade 317 stainless steel is more expensive alloy than more other 301 level grades so this is getting used lesser than 304 and 316 because of their high cost so now let's talk about uh, ss 400 series so uh, the 400 series that is also known as austenitic series this series contains 11% of chromium and 1% of magnesium more than 300 series of grades so it is slightly magnetic this is still also a feature say high carbon content as a result 400 stainless steel series buffers high strength and more wear resistance but it is also more easily corroded than 300 series grades so if i talk about uh, heat treatment then heat treating hardens 400 series stainless steel so if we categorize further this 400 uh, stainless steel series then first one that is ss430 so basically this 430 uh, grade is of ferrical steel and uh, forms easily but does not uh, resist extreme temperature or corrosion well so it is often used for decorative purpose such as automotive trim and it is less expensive than grade 304 since it does not contain nickel so let's talk about the next one that is ss434 so among the most widely used ferritic steels grade 434 is highly corrosion and oxidant resistant it can also resist temperature up to 1500 fahrenheit grade 434 stainless steel cannot be hardened by heat treatment and generally cold form like low carbon steels it is typically used for automotive trim so let's talk about the next one that is ss430 SS430 stainless steel is very bright steel and one of the earliest carbon iron alloys that was present. So 430 uh, contains 12% of chromium and this grade of stainless steel is highly corrosion resistant. It is often known as blade grade steel since manufacturer frequently use it for surgical instrument. Uh, so this was about SS420 and uh, with this uh, we have uh, done with SS400 series. So let's talk about the 90 for uh, l series so this is basically a non stabilized austenitic stainless steel 904 l grade products contains copper as a part of the alloy as a result this grade of stainless steel can resist corrosions from many acids the high cost of this grade of stainless steel however caused more manufacturing to turn to the lower cost so let's talk about the ss 904 l stainless steel grade and uh, this grade contains copper as a part of uh, the alloy so as a result uh, this grade of stainless steel can resist corrosion from many acids also so the cost of this stainless steel grade is high and however uh, sometimes manufacturers uh, used to produce this as a alternative of duplex stainless steel 205 grade as an alternative so this was all about the stainless steel series that Uh, is getting widely used uh, for manufacturing the home products or industrial products but other than that a lot of uh, stainless steel series is there right now you can see uh, duplex stainless steel series uh, i mentioned in this slide so that channel also we are going to discuss in so for that you have to wait for the part 2 of this video so don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you